Hey, once again, good morning, everybody. How y'all doing? This is your boy, Rob Thomas Jr. This is the real new behind the new. Oh, yeah, y'all see it? LSU, baby. Hey, ain't nowhere in the world we supposed I mean, we should not be nothing less than number one. We, you know, we're going to see what the coaches folks say, you know, the, uh, all the college folks. But anyway, I'm not talking about it. In a, in a sense, I am kind of talking about something because that has to do with education. Let me show y'all how social engineering works. All right, you notice this, that children that go to your quote-unquote elite schools like Bird, Captain Shreve, Magnet, the, the schools where they supposed to be those, those good little pure white children, you know, mixed with a few black children. They go there and they supposed to be the best that the city has to offer. Why those kids don't have to wear a uniform? But kids that go to Green Oaks, Huntington, uh, BTW, they have to wear a uniform. A lot of people say, well, it makes them safer. How? How does a uniform make them safer? Well, it's a lot of people say, well, it takes away stigma because some kids can't afford nice clothes, but they, they mom still buy them nice shoes. So they got on the uniform and some kids still wearing Jordans and other kids still wearing what we used to call buddy boy. So what's the difference? You don't know what it really is? It's a way of social engineering. It's a way of reinforcing a servitude behavior in the children who have to wear uniforms as opposed to the children who don't. They are being groomed to be your leaders. The children at Captain Free Bird and Magnet are basically groomed, being groomed to be the leaders of your kids that wear a uniform, meaning the kids that wear a uniform are going to eventually wear a uniform in jail because you got to look at the prison, the school, the prison pipeline, they're going to either wear a uniform at McDonald's or somewhere like that. They're getting an inferior education on purpose. And the uniform psychologically and subliminally is a way to reinforce that. Those kids, your kids here at Captain Free, I mean, at Captain Free, Bird, and Huntington are actually being groomed in a frame of mind that they are better than your kids. Because in reality, later in life, they're going to be the ones that have the managers or the, um, you know, um, the ownership of a lot of businesses and corporations and your children are going to have to wear uniforms working for them. Y'all don't, I mean, a lot of people don't even pay attention to something like that and they're labeled a conspiracy theory, but that's the truth. Hey, good morning. Um, it's a way of psychologically, subliminally reinforce, uh, reinforcing class. We like to talk about racism, but nobody really talk about classism, which is just as big as racism. Because you got a certain class of racists that look at certain groups of white people. You got a group of white supremacists that even look at poor whites as garbage. That's why they call them white trash. You see what I'm saying? So to, to them, it, we all niggas. You know what I'm saying? But nobody talks about classism. That's the, the one, the elephant in the room. Nobody wants to talk to that about that because if you explain it, you'll see again how... Children that goes to inner city schools like Booker T. Washington, Huntington, Woodlawn, Green Oaks have to wear uniforms. But the kids that go to Captain Shreve and Bird, they can come in there with a how to top and house shoes on. Because again, they're setting up the class system. These children are better class than these children. So these children, we will groom to be the leaders of the other children who will eventually have to wear a uniform somewhere in their life, whether it be prison or McDonald's. That's really what it's about, y'all. It's that's really what it's about. You go back and look at look look at what Adolf Hitler did. You've had uniforms throughout um, history in school systems, but they were used as a form of classism. Racism and classism are one and the same almost, but they're two totally different things. We like to talk about racism, but nobody talks about classism. Your children are being groomed to wear uniforms while the other children can go to school, like I say, in, in a t-shirt, some dickies, and house shoes if they wanted to. And then you see with the recent event that happened at Bird, how the racism is really coming to light at that school. You know what black people be better off? I'm going to show y'all something and I'm going to end this video. The worst thing that happened to black people in America, believe it or not, was integration. Integration was the worst thing that ever happened to us. 
because when we were segregated, we opened our own businesses. We educated our own children in our schools, schools that were ran by us. You see what I'm saying? We took care of our community because we all we were all that we had. And that was all that we needed. That's how Black Wall Street thrived. It was segregation. But now you want your kids to go to Captain Street because you say he'll get a better education. Well, guess what? If you had the number of students at your school in your na local neighborhood, guess what? The money that you sending now to Captain Street, Street with your child could be used at that school like Green Oaks to provide better um, uh, material, education material for your children. But no, you're sending your children to Bird, to Magnet, to Captain Shreve, and guess what? Every child that leaves his regular district going to one of these quote-unquote elite schools, that's dollars being taken away from that school in your neighborhood. Then you wondering why we would love to see a stadium at Green Oaks, but it'll never happen because you barely got enough students up there for them to keep the lights on. They barely can keep the lights on at schools like Green Oaks and others. Think about it. They had to combine Fair Park with Booker T. Washington. So we don't have the numbers of children. And then another part that has to do with is the rate of flight. Notice this, and I'm going to end this. The white people who are living far and farther out on the outskirts of Shreveport, they're trying to get independent school districts, districts meaning they don't want to have shit to do with Caddo Parish school system. And I bet you they ain't going to have to wear no uniforms at their school. Again, they don't wear uniforms at Captain Street, Bird, and Magnet because, again, those children are in a different class. They are being groomed to be the leaders of your children who have to wear uniforms. Y'all understand that. Y'all be blessed.